In the last week we've been participating in the uh, CERT 2 in public safety uh, fire fighting operations. Uh, five uh, Darumbal and five Dungaloo participants involved. It's really important to get an understanding of Western um, ways of fire management, knowing how to operate machines and, and uh, work as a team, understand some of the systems and processes. What do they mean about certain fire behaviour and some of the fire science as well, um, and then putting that together, knowing how to com combat a fire. The last four days we've been uh, doing some training in the CERT 2 Public Safety Firefighting Operations, which is a nationally recognised course in basic firefighting for the local Indigenous groups, both the Drumble and the Gungaloo. Uh, it also assists us in in that they are conducting their own mitigation within large areas of land. So the chances of wildfire affecting those lands is uh, reduced, greatly reduced. One of the first times that FBA has actually been supporting uh, local traditional owner groups to receive training like this, uh, to get them more involved in, in fire management in, on their country and within our region. It's going to become even more important as, as we are uh, receiving the impacts of climate change in our region. We've, for the first time, uh, only in recent history, had a catastrophic fire event. Um, so caring for country through good fire management is critical. They hold a lot of knowledge of fire management in the landscape and, and how to sustain the important species that are on their country. But it's also important that they get the right training and the right credentials so they can uh, go out and do this in a legitimate way following all the laws and requirements in that type of practice. Well, burning, burning is getting, getting rid of all the old, the old vegetation and burning at the right time of the year. You have to know what time of the year to burn. So if you get a, your fire gets away and you get a wildfire, it doesn't kill the tree. It'll not, I mean, it'll kill all the leaves and that up the tree, but the tree will still survive. The tree will regrow again if the sap is still moving through the tree. You don't burn the same area every year. Well, they call it mosaic burning. You burn only, you burn only certain sections. You burn this area, and you leave this area, and that area, that's all, all the little animals and birds and that can come over here and survive on this area, or the wallabies. And, and then next year you go to another section, you, don't, you leave this section alone, and you go to the next section. Uh, in the future, we'd like to become more involved in their cultural side of burning get a little bit more knowledge. I have had previous experience elsewhere and each area is different uh, from WA, Northern Territory to here in Queensland. Uh, every area is different in the way that uh, they do cultural burning. We'll train them and they'll train us. I just want to say thanks to the Queensland Fire and Emergency Service uh, for their training um, program, uh, their openness and, and inclusiveness and uh, hoping to really work uh, collaboratively uh, together for our own capacity.